Let me just simplify this for you. How do you hook up the Rode Wireless Go microphone, this is what it looks like, to your Macintosh computer, your iMac, your MacBook, your MacBook Air, your MacBook Pro, whatever it is. And it might be, it might also work for other computers, but I'm gonna uh, use the example of a Mac computer because that's what I have. This works on both my MacBook Pro and my iMac and it has worked for others. So let's talk about it. This is the microphone that I recommend for yoga teachers to use when they are filming yoga classes. There's a receiver side and there's a microphone piece. So they both have clips and I just simply attach the microphone here, turn it on. The receiver will tell you if it's on and how loud it is. There's three volume settings. But how do you hook this up to your computer? Now you can't just take the cord that it comes with and put it into the microphone jack or even a lightning cable or anything like you would with your phone. In fact, you can't even use that cord in your computer or your phone. It's a cord that looks like this, but it's a black to a black cord, which doesn't actually work in a computer or your phone. So you have to throw that one out. Okay, don't actually throw it away. You can use it for other things like connecting it to a speaker, but for your phone or for your computer, you'll need to order something different. This is the SC7 cord. It's about $15 on top of the cost of the Rode microphone, which is about 200. So you'll need the Rode microphone, the SC7 cord, and the black piece goes into the receiver and the gray piece goes into your device, your phone or your computer. But you can't just plug this in to the auxiliary input. It has to be through USB or USB-C if you have a newer computer. So to do that, I use this little piece. So this is a receiver. You could plug this into your phone, that could work, or the adapter that goes to your phone. But for your computer, you'll need an adapter that goes to USB or USB-C, and that should work. And remember, it's black part to the receiver on the, the SC7 cord, gray piece to your device, to USB, and I plug that in to my computer everything is turned on and make sure that when you film or when you are recording that the audio setting is set to, it usually will say something like USB device or USB audio input. So you can go to the microphone setting, which every um, software or recording device has, or recording software has like a, a place to input if you wanna use a webcam or whatever the audio is. So this should show up automatically in your computer if you plug it in this way. Turn it on and you should be able to use it in your computer. And you should be able to hear people too. So it's not going to plug up the audio that you hear. So if you're filming Zoom classes, using the Rode Wireless Go, you'll need the Rode Wireless Go, your SC7 cord, which is separate, and the USB to auxiliary input. And that should do it. That's honestly how it works. And this was a big frustration point for me and for a lot of others too, especially when you don't realize like this cord needs to be different and it has to be USB anyway. It can get confusing if you start ordering splitters and all these other cables. Trust me, I did that. And then I was so grateful that I actually found that this worked because the quality on your laptop is going to be oftentimes a lot better than the quality from filming on your phone. And the quality on your laptop, you can, you can choose to film in HD or you can choose to use a webcam or a camera that's going to pick up more light than maybe your phone would. Now your phone will be great to use too with this Rode microphone. However, it is going to plug up your audio so you won't be able to hear anybody if you're on a live call and you plug it in unless you have other cables and you put headphones in. So if you're using this on your phone and you're doing let's say a Zoom class, just wait to plug it in. So talk to people through your camera and so that you can hear them and then plug it in right before you start so that you know that nobody needs to you know, say anything or you're muting everybody anyway. And then at the end you can unplug it and right away it'll automatically disconnect and you'll hear them again and they'll be able to hear you through your phone. So that's, that's a little tip for your phone. Um, but yeah, anyway, just know that if you get this, the microphone's right here. I just honestly clip it to my shirt. It's so much easier than trying to deal with a bunch of cords. This is the microphone. This is the receiver. 
SC7 cord, the USB connector, and you should be good. I hope this is helpful. I want to make this quick and easy to understand. Good luck. Good luck. And I will drop the the links to these this equipment in the description of this video. Happy yoga teaching. And I hope that you have a lot of fun with this. Enjoy. And if you have any questions, please reach out. I'm happy to help.